Hi everyone. So on Tuesday I posted a new love reading and if you're in this energy group I would recommend checking that out because I'm going to do an extension of that. I'm going to look more I'm going to look more deeply into it. So I got and this will probably resonate for those of you that have been single for a while. Also those of you that are in that energy group where you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to take accountability. They don't want to step up. They're they're choosing to let you go or they're choosing not to uh to really come forward and, and offer you anything, you know, you're kind of coming into that energy of just, okay, it's time for me to manifest someone new. This, you know, this isn't going anywhere. This person obviously doesn't love me back or they're not willing to love me or willing to express their emotions. So it's time for me to manifest new love. But um, anyway, only take it if it resonates. I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So let's get right into it. So on, on Tuesday, the energy, the reading I posted on Tuesday, I was getting somebody who is just the entire package. I, I would check that reading out. I got a lot of good energy on that person, and the person that you're manifesting this new love. I feel like you've leveled up, and so you're you're matching. You're you're like a vibrational match to this person because you're you know what you deserve now. You're more confident. You. It's like you're resonating with that energy. So when this person comes in, I feel like you're going to let them take care of you. You're going to let them, you're going to resonate with somebody who's just a genuinely good person. And I feel like you resonated with good people before too, but I just mean it, it, it's like you're, you're, you're leveling up even further than what you were already at, I guess is what I'm saying. yeah I got a lot of good energy I would check that reading out it's like I got this person is they're kind they're loyal they're empathetic uh, they've really been through a lot this person might be in a leadership position like a, a CEO or a boss uh, a lot of people go to them for advice I got a lot of sexual passion and chemistry between the two of you as well somebody who's kind of dominant in bed there's just a lot of good information about this person's personality that came out in that reading that I posted Tuesday. So check that out if this one resonates with you. Um, and and that was that mostly went into like this person. Um, we got some details on the person's past on their, you know, just just going deep into their personality, into who they are, into what drives them, what they're looking for. It's a lot of really good information that came out in that reading. But I want to go into now more of a more of how they're going to see you and what that connection is going to look like. And if this resonates with you, please subscribe. And please like the video and um, yeah, share, comment. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing your stories. I'm curious to know, have you guys met this person yet or... The star, the three of cups, or the nine of cups. I don't know why I said the three of cups. Tell me more about this. Why the seven of cups? Okay. One of you, there's a warning here, and I honestly feel like it's you. Um, one of you is going to be in this, this is too good to be true mentality. Especially if you've just gone through a recent heartbreak, I feel like you're going to be like, this is, this is too simple, this is too easy. Because it's like you're doing the healing work, and you're wanting your wish fulfillment, and it's almost like you're going to meet this person kind of out of nowhere, and you're going to be on guard. You're going to be like, is this the same devil energy? Is this going to be toxic? Is this going to be another one-sided connection? Am I going to get my heart ripped out again? Like illusion, deception, confusion. It's like you're going to be standing your ground. But I don't feel like do you really need to stand your ground. I don't think so. I think you do. In, so in that other reading that we did that I posted on Tuesday, I was getting this energy of like, you do need to stand your ground in the sense that you need to make sure you don't manifest an imposter because as you're manifesting and you're like open to new love, sometimes other like, you know, kind of low vibrational leech types can feel that energy and they try to come in. So make sure that you're you're standing your ground and not not moving too quickly, being balanced, making sure that you're manifesting the real deal, the, the genuine person that we're channeling and not not getting distracted by any uh, kind of illusions or kind of imposters that try to come in before that happens. 
Tell me more about this. Yeah, I feel it. Let me see. Tell me more about this. Why the Eight of Swords? Knight of Swords. Why the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Swords? Page of Wands. Queen of Wands. I feel like this person didn't feel like you were ever going to come. They kind of started getting discouraged. Why the Four of Cups? I feel like, let me see. Hold on, bear with me, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there's been people that have wanted wanted to build with this person. And I almost feel like, okay, that's what it's been waiting. That's what it's saying. Okay, they've been waiting for you. This person's like aware of you somehow. Like they're aware. This person might actually be psychic themselves. Or they're just aware. If they're not psychic, they just have this awareness that they're like looking for something more. Like they're not... Their options around them aren't doing it for the for them. And from what I've picked up, this person's like a genuine alpha. So I imagine they probably do have options, but it's like they're not filling those options. It's like they're waiting for something long term, something, you know, mutual stability, mutual loyalty, mutual depth, something really solid. And I feel like they've been blocked. Um, almost like in a victim mentality where it's it's like people that come towards them they're like is am I ever going to find my actual person because it's like they've rejected a lot of people I think there's been a lot of people that want to work with them want to build something with them and they don't they don't want that they're waiting for their genuine person they're waiting they're waiting for something else they're not resonating with their options they're waiting for something more real something more solid their options just are not cutting it for them um, I feel like they went, I feel like they have had like dreams or premonitions, some kind of um, intuitive sense that you're coming. If it's not an intuitive psychic sense, then I feel it's more the awareness of just, I know there's got to be something else out there. I know this person has to be out there somewhere. I know there has to be someone out there in the world that is my match. Um, and this person's an old soul. They have good karma. And with this truth and clarity that's coming in, I feel like they, they kind of just have this sense that it's their time to finally meet this person. They're tired of these shallow relationships. They're tired of uh, people that use them for their money. I feel like they get used for their money a lot because there is competition for this person. I really feel like there is a lot of uh, people that are attracted to them, but they don't want them for the right reasons. They want them for uh, you know their status, their their success, that kind of thing. Tell me more about this. The Empress, the Sun. Yeah, they're waiting for their true Empress. They're waiting for their true Empress or their true, true Emperor, male or female. Yeah, they're waiting for their soulmate, for their twin flame, for their other half. For their, they're waiting for something more, more real. I feel like they have to. Um, so this kind of goes hand in hand with that reading I was doing Tuesday. Again, if this is resonating, I would check that one out because there was a lot of really good detailed information that came out in that reading about, you know, everything you'd want to know about this person's personality, their past, their history, who they are, just all of it. Um, and one of the, the, the one of the energies I was getting is that they're kind of in a leadership position where people ask them for advice. And so I think a lot of people like these competitors don't really um they don't know who they are they don't really know them deep down they don't see their romantic side they don't they don't see their emotional side 
this person never feels safe enough to express that kind of energy around these people because they they don't feel that that connection that depth with them you know what i mean they don't feel that that safety and security to really express their their softer more empathetic side to them and so it's like they have all these people that are competing for them and wanting to win them over but they don't even know what they're they're all these karmics that are fighting for this this new love that you're manifesting it's like they don't even know what they're fighting for it's like they're competing for this person but they they don't actually know them and and your person your this new person that you're manifesting it's like they know that they know that these are shallow connections they know that there's nothing uh there's no uh nothing really solid here it's like these people see this person's image what they're presenting they're seeing their their strong side. They're seeing the them in a leadership role, and they're wanting um they're wanting. It's almost like these people are weak minded, and they're wanting to like kind of leech onto them. They want their money. They want the power. They want the status. It's almost like um I'm hearing like your person. It's like they're looking for like a true queen or a true empress or like a true king or a true emperor. And these, it's like these like insecure men or these insecure women are all competing over them, but they're, your person, the new person is smart. They're intelligent, they're wise, they're intuitive. They can see right through these people. So they can see their insecurities. They can see the masks that they wear. They can tell that these people are just kind of, um, almost like glamorous. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like those, those shallow kind of insecure women who just, they appear confident like if you're if you're naive if you're not intuitive they appear confident to most people you know what i mean like they seem like they're so beautiful they just seem like they're so confident but they're really deeply insecure um like they don't have anything to say they don't have any depth they're just all about their image they're all about their appearance like they always like the kind of women and there's nothing wrong with wearing makeup like it's it's great to wear makeup like i wear makeup sometimes too i know a lot of women do but it's like one of those women that like they can't just they they're not cute in just like a in sweatpants and a shirt like they have to wear makeup when they go to the grocery store they have to they, they can't they're not authentic they can't just be themselves it's like one of those women that just like like um like just not not very genuine like they're all about their image they're very shallow just all about their appearance you know what i mean there's there's it's like they're trying to hide something they're trying to hide the fact that there's there's no intelligence there there's no emotional depth there's no there's no real character and in or integrity there there's nothing there and this person can see through that this person can recognize um this this person can really just recognize that this is not a these aren't true queens or they're not true kings or whatever male or female it, it's like they can recognize that they're hiding something that there's a shallowness there and i feel like they really want this person mostly for i feel like physical attraction um i feel like this person's really good in bed honestly i feel like some of them want them for sex Others want them for status. It's like they almost want to be like arm candy for this person. Like they want to, it's, it's kind of like this person, your person, your new person, they, they want someone that's going to be like, they want like a genuine power couple. And these people are presenting themselves as like, oh, I could be that. I could be, I could support you. I could, I, I could be part of a power couple. I could be that for you. I'm, I'm a queen. I'm a king. And this person's seeing right through it. They're like, no, you you look like that. Yeah, you're you're beautiful. You're good arm candy. If we went to an event together, I'm sure that you would turn heads. People in our company would, you know, would notice you. They'd notice, you know, your appearance. But but there but there's no that's not a true power couple though, because you're like, well, that's great, but I want that and I want more than that too. I want someone who's actually gonna support me when I'm down, someone who's actually gonna, you know really be a ride or, ride or die type for me someone with actual depth and maturity and life experience I don't want someone who's just gonna look good and just be like almost like a false power couple it's like the illusion of being a power couple in society like they look like they're so strong and so supportive but there's no real foundation there you know this new person is like I don't want that I want yeah, it's it's I want to look good in society with my person, but I, I want more than anything, I want the depth, the the loyalty, this the mutual support, the 
the compassion. I want to be an actual, you know, some someone that's going to be part of an, like an actual power couple, something real. So they're not interested in these options. They see right through them. And they know these options are out for, again, money, status, power, image, uh, just shallow things. There's there's nothing stable there. They want the true their true empress. They're trying to manifest their true empress or true emperor. I'm probably gonna do multiple new love readings, honestly, because I keep getting these like like side messages and stuff like that. Like this was supposed to be more about looking into how they see you, and it kind of ended up being a side message about you know competitors. So. You know, check back over the next, you know, few days. I'm going to do more and more new love readings. We're going to look into the past person as well, too. I'm going to, you know, keep it, you know, make sure there's a diversity on this channel. But, but yeah, let's see. But, yeah, definitely more new love readings coming in. So, bear with me, you guys. Tell me more about um, just the, these competitors. What What do you need to know about this? Ace of Wands, the Tower, I'm kidding, <laughs> I, I can't, oh, I'm getting a strong sexual energy, I'm getting, that D is pretty good, like it creates a tower moment for some of these women, <laughs> or it has in the past, or they maybe heard, maybe they've heard things from his ex-girlfriend where they're like, that was the best sex of my life. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I can't believe the cards came out like that. It's like very passionate sexual energy. Some of them just like want to try it. They just want to, they even just one time, they're like, I just want to see what that's like to, to get on that. Oh, uh, I got to be careful on YouTube. I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> But that's what I, I'm just like laughing because that's what I heard. Like that, that D creates a, a tower, a tower moment almost. Jeez. Okay. Tell me, tell me more about this. Tell me more about these competitors. I know I'm like the most unprofessional reader on, on YouTube. Trust me. I know. I know. <laughs> The Magician, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, he's holding on to, um, he is powerful. He can manifest. This man is, if he's not a psychic or a magician in this life, I feel like he was in his past lives. Like, this man has a lot of spiritual power. He has a very high spiritual ranking, uh, for sure. So he has a, he has, he has status not only in this physical world, but in this spiritual realm as well. But he's not going to give this to anybody, Lo you know, loyalty, stability. He's going to wait for the right person to give this to Four of Pentacles. He's going to hold on to that until he finds the right, right person. I think he entertains these karmics to an extent, like he doesn't fully, but he kind of, um, he's amicable with them. But again, he still sees through them, I feel. Tell me more, um, tell me more about these competitors. I feel like, I feel like when you do meet this person, they are going to try to compete with you. I feel, I kind of feel like these are like women or men that he, that they work with or that they, um, there's like a group, there's some kind of group, like a, like an organization, like a, like a class or a group or an organization or like some kind of social setting or like a, um, because I'm seeing more than one person. Or maybe people that like work under him. Like if he's like a manager, or like a boss type. These could be like people that work for him. Or work for her, male or female. I feel like they're going to try to compete with you. But they're, it's not going to work. Because all they have to offer, honestly, all they have to offer is their bodies. These women, I'm picking up they are very attractive. I do feel like they are physically attractive. But he's not... Um, I mean, he's, he's good in bed. He's, you know, he has a very strong sexual, passionate energy, but I feel like he's, he's not really trying to, he might've slept around in the past, but I don't think he's at a phase in his life where he's wanting to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's kind of been there, done that. Like, I think he's, he's experienced enough where he's like that. It doesn't do anything for him. It doesn't cut it for him. 
you know, like he's very good in bed, but he wants it with someone where there's that emotion and that passion, that chemistry, you know, like I think he's maybe done the one night sting, one night stand thing before in the past. And he's like, that's just, it's not, it's not what I want anymore. I want something more real, more solid. So it's like, they'll try to compete. They'll try to be flirty and, and, you know, dress provo provocative and get his attention and, you know, be sexual with him. But it, it's like, it's not gonna, there's, there, like I said, there's no connection. There's no depth. So it's, it's, this is one of those, um, what is the, what is the word for those people that like, they, when they have sex with someone, they want it to be like an emotional connection. I get that kind of energy from him where it's like, he notices that they're physically beautiful, but he's not pulled towards them. Like he's not really, he's, he, he notices their beauty, but he's not like attracted to them. You know what I mean? Like he's not like he, like he knows there's nothing there. So it's not, it's not really doing much for him. Um, so yeah, I think they're going to try I think he kind of finds them pathetic to be honest, because I think some of them kind of throw themselves at him and they're very, um, just all about their image. They almost come off a little fake to him. Like he's, he's not, it's, it's not his thing. Some of them are a little, um, I almost feel like a little slutty and I'm not slut shaming anybody, but I just feel like he's more into, um, He, he likes a woman that knows her worth. He likes a woman that's confident. He likes a woman that kind of, you know, teases him and is playful and makes him work for, makes him work for it. It's kind of like the, you know, like you've seen like all these like love movies where it's like the prince wants the one girl who's like free spirited and, and independent and adventurous and she has her own thing going on. And there's like a hundred other girls that are chasing him and just dying to be with him. And he doesn't notice them, but he'll notice the one girl that's like, doing her own thing that's not all over him you know what I mean it's kind of like that energy like these girls almost look pathetic to him where he's like like you guys like I see right through you like you just want my money you just want status you just want power you just you want my title you want to be arm candy you want sex like you don't you don't want anything that I really am looking for I'm not on that vibration I'm I'm above that I'm, I'm not on that same page with you guys you know what I mean? Like, like they want someone that's truly powerful. They want, they want somebody who's a manifester like them. They want somebody who's, who's goal oriented and driven and, uh, you know, emotionally deep and mature. Like they are an experience. Like they want someone that's going to match them. Okay, I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to come back for some more love readings. I don't know if it'll be the same day, but, but over the next, you know, few days or week or so, I'm going to, I'm going to be doing these more and more consistently. As long as they're getting views and they're getting comments and you guys are resonating with this and you're wanting to see it, I'll keep doing it. So just, just let me know in the comments. Um, if it's resonating, please share, please subscribe. Uh, you know, even just liking the video, it really helps me get back in the, in the algorithm. I love hearing from you guys, commenting, you know, hearing your stories. So let's get more into it. Let's see. Yeah, this person's going to be drawn to your your soul, your beauty. You're going to be attracted to them, but it's more like your, your soul more than anything is going to draw them in. And they're not going to see that in these other people. So it, it's like... But you might have to deal with some kind of, you know, little little girls or little boys trying to compete for this person. But it's not going to be anything that you're going to have to worry too much about. Tell me more about these competitors. This person got tired of waiting. They got tired of looking. They got tired of waiting for their ship to sail on. They just kind of felt lost and alone. This person can't connect with most people. They can't, I mean, not with most people, but like they just, they, they feel like there's a lot of shallow connections around them. Tell me more about what, what do you need to know about these competitors, these people that are going to try to, um, you know, seduce your person or whatnot. I just don't feel, I don't feel like they're really, I don't feel like your person, your, your new love that you're manifesting, I don't feel like they're even really going for it. They're just kind of like, eh. <laughs> So 
But, like, you know how those catty women can be, though? Like, even though they're not really a threat, they're still annoying because they're still, like, so insecure. Like, you know those women that are just so insecure that they have to, like, put other women down. They have to be aggressive and they have to be on top. It's, it's those kind of girls. And this person sees right through that. This person's like, oh, no, that is not for me. I don't want a woman that puts another woman down. I feel like for some... I feel like some of these women have actually, like, vented to them about other women and, like, it turned this person off because this person saw right through it and was like, damn, you're really insecure, aren't you? Like, this person, some of these girls are so insecure that it's like they try to make other competitors, other women look bad. I'm seeing a, a platinum blonde girl particularly uh, with, a, with, like, a red dress that she wears sometimes. Um, that's for somebody. But it's like they try to make, for, for one or two of these girls try to make the other competitors, the other women look bad. And I feel like it made themselves look bad because they're like, oh, this, this girl is, you know, like maybe like talking shit or like if this is like a manager of a company or a CEO or something, it's like they were like talking bad about their women. And it just made them look like pathetic and insecure. They're like, they, you know, the, you're, the new person kind of nodded and was like, okay, sure, like. You know, I'll hear you out, but it was just kind of obvious to them. Like, this person's smart. He can see through, he can see through that bullshit. He can't, you can't one-up this person. You can't trick him like that. There's no seducing someone like that. This person's too mature, too, too wise for that, too, too intelligent. Um, any final messages about these competitors? Yeah, you're going to block him out. You're going to be the queen of swords. You're going to, your assertiveness, your power, you're, you're going to, I feel like you're going to put these women in your place just with your energy. They're not going to be able to match your vibration, your energy. Yeah, this is justice for this king of pentacles because he deserves someone who's genuine. Any final messages? Why the Ten of Swords? Yeah, he's going to be making a choice. He's going to end... He might even... If there's anyone like that he's considering just out of loneliness, like he might even be like looking at them just because he's lonely, but he knows it's not for him. I feel like when you come in, he's going to end that. He's going to be like, okay, wait, there's something much better here. Sorry, bye. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to be like, I'm out. Bye, death. <laughs> Bye, bitches. <laughs> yeah, he's going to want a new start with you. You're going to bring out this softer side of him. Why the three of swords? Nine of swords, six of pentacles. The high priestess. One of you has some childhood wounds and some, some things to get past, some anxiety, some heartbreak from the past, but I feel like you will get through it. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this out. Thank you guys for watching.